frost of the season. It only happened in January of 2022. Yes, we get excited down here for this shit. On my way to pain management, I'm still sick as a dog. And, oh, it's 36 degrees. Um, I have my drink. It's still frozen. Actually, but I'm keeping it in the car. appointments and so Mark had inadvertently given it to me um I have to put the phone down you're gonna see black sorry Mark had inadvertently given it to me and uh we're very very careful because of his illness he's already on steroids so he has that. He had recently gotten his booster. I had received mine as soon as we were allowed to. Uh, whoa, back in the beginning of August or September of last year. <coughs> so, excuse me. So we, I was allowed to get it because I had an organ transplant. And, you know, I got it right away. actually eligible to get my fourth one of the beginning one as soon as I feel better. Now I have the antibodies in there. Again, none of the vaccines, just like the flu vaccine or pneumonia, prevent you from getting sick. They're just going to help the severity of symptoms. So, um, and anybody says, ooh, you got sick anyways. Well, yeah, that's not what the vaccine does. Yeah, you need boosters to booster. The shot's so nice to see frost on the cars. <laughs> yeah, crazy. You grew up north and miss that stuff. And when it's had a Satan falls down here all the other time. So, oh, anyway, yeah, you need booster shots to booster that one. And they said, the CD said it's not a matter of if you're going to get Omicron, it's a matter of when. So, you know, we knew it was a strong possibility. Mark's sick, but he doesn't have it as bad as I do. My immune system is just really knocked down from everything. I just had the surgery in October. Um, I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm gonna have them do some trigger points. Oh God, is it cold? In the back of my skull, um, fasten joints in the back of your skull, neck, shoulders. installed in uh, 19 or 2019 because something's wrong. Um, I herniated bulging discs, uh, scoliosis, uh, some other, a lot of other problems in my, my back's just shot. There's a ton of hardware in my spine and it's, I have a lot of pain right now and they were watching other discs but they only fused
was the last surgery he went to with me. And he knew, everyone knew I was so frightened of that because they go in through your neck and they have to move your jugular vein and everything. They go into the front of your neck and they're moving all that stuff to work to get to the ad to put in all that hardware and I'm just terrified, especially because of all the emergencies, broken hardware, all the stuff I've had, you know, I bled out on the table, um, I had them nick my dura and it was leaking spinal fluid like a sieve back in um, 2006 so bad that my brain was actually sitting against my skull. You know, I was a half quart low, the neurosurgeon said, and um, so I, I've had a lot of uh, bad things happen, and I was terrified, to the, but I had, it was to the point where the headaches were so intense and so bad that I had no other option. I, it was to the point where I just couldn't take it anymore. And so when these headaches started coming back in December, I started freaking out. And they're now where they're they're coming back again, and it's freaking me out. Where I have the muscle spasm so bad, and I'm not getting any relief. I'm not sleeping again. Um, maybe an hour or two here and there, but it's it's getting where I'm not getting any relief. So. I didn't need to be on any muscle relaxers and I'm having to, I had to start them again and I, I hadn't needed any trigger point injections since 2019 and I had to ask for them last month and again so, you know, and I'm having to ask for an MRI so, and now I'm having to postpone my <laughs> Super Bowl weekend, the Bucks won it. We honeymooned in Key West, Florida for two weeks. It was amazing. Um, no one thought we would ever make it this far. Um, we proved everybody wrong. Has it been easy? Fuck no. Has, have, you know, we had our ups and downs? Absolutely. Um, I think it's been very, very hard because of all the extra stuff we had to endure. You know, he's a lot older than I am. Um, and we are very, very different people. So, I mean, you know, we've almost, I've been very honest, we've almost gotten divorced a couple times. So, you know, it's just been, you know, it's been hard. So, you know, we've made it to 19 years and I'm proud of us. There were a lot of adversity in that, so we're not doing anything. It's been tight, really, really tight since all the medical bills and that. But it doesn't matter. It's not what it's about. We're just gonna. Uh, he has to work tomorrow anyway, so. But, yeah, that's about it. So, just heading down to Clearwater. 
right, I love you guys. I hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe, stay warm, and yeah. All right, peace.